No, I'm taking video. Oh, kidding me. <laughs> okay. So, you hook into one of these. This is a one-way valve, mm -hmm. okay? It does, the DTPA doesn't come out. Just the carbon dioxide when the patient breathes in. So, first thing, hook this. Get it all set up, okay, before even the patient uh, goes down here. So, make sure you're tight over right here. See this little two-wheel curve? Mm -hmm. Real tight. So it doesn't leak the 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 the, the, the aerosol. Yeah. yeah, it's for the mouthpiece. Okay. Okay. This is for the nose clamp. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make um, 25 millicarries of DTPA in a total volume of two ml only. Okay. okay? That's going to be enough for you to uh, create an aerosol like a vapor. You know, once you turn it on. So you make 25 millicarries of DTPA in two ml. Then you draw it out. To make sure you have a total volume up to 2 ml. So what you do is, you tell the patient, hey, I'm going to have you breathe into this machine here. When you breathe, cough, just cough in here, don't take it out. Because we don't want to have contamination on the chest. So take this out, put it in the mouth, okay? Pinch it. Tell them to start breathing slowly, in and out. So you inject 20, uh, the 2 ml into this black part of here. Mm -hmm. 2 ml of uh, uh, DTPA, you know, which is 20 ml, it's like we want it, you know. Because you 25, you may maximum can draw maybe 22. You're lucky you draw 25. You can make 30, but when you have short text, 25, 20 should be enough. Okay. So make 25, always a minimum 25. Inject, close, close it, it, and turn it on, okay? Where the hell is that? This one. You can use a wall, whatever. See right here? Okay. I mean, he hook it on here because you don't have to use the wall. You can have the patient breathe outside. Anyway, so. What's so, the flow rate? 10 to 12. So you turn it all the way to 10. See? Or not 15. 15 is going to pop it up. Okay? Because 15 is too strong. Okay? Okay. So 10 to 12 is okay. Okay. You use the wall, same thing. So when you put 10 to 12, after you inject, then you turn it on. Don't turn it on first. Because okay. you can't, you see, you can turn it on, how you going to inject? Right, okay. okay. So inject, have the patient put the mouthpiece on, put the clamp. Then start the air. Then start the air. The air is going to uh, create a hissing sound. Now if you don't hear good enough, add like maybe up to one more ml of saline. Okay, one more cc of saline. Because you want to have that vapor, have the patient breathe in. Okay. You should breathe for 7 to 10 minutes. 10 minutes is better, but you need a minimum of 7 minutes. But 7 should be enough. So after you breathe in and out, cough in and out, done. Okay? Deep breath in, deep breath out. After 7 minutes, turn this off. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's mean no more vapor being done. Okay? Usually, I don't dispose of it because you never know the patient take good breath. Because you don't get enough picture, good pictures bring him back to the gurney and uh, have him Still breathe some more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't inject him more, just have him breathe some more. Right. So after he finished breathing on the gurney, put it on the table, then you do 200 counts. 200,000 uh, counts. 200,000 counts, yes. Instead of 500. RPO, LPO, mm -hmm. left lateral, posterior, anterior, right lateral. Just the same thing you do with the perfusion. Right. After you've done the six views done, each one of 200K, Start giving MAA. You need five miracles of MAA. You want to overshadow the counts of that to the DTPA. Okay. So you check five miracles. Make sure you flush all the dose in there. Because sometimes you don't have enough stage into the hubs. It's going to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you, mo you don't get enough counts. Okay. okay. Just make sure you flush all real good. Inject the MAA. Start from the same position you finish with the vent. Enter right. Then go back. Yeah, left. But yeah, just basically roll Go back, back to the right way. RPO. Okay. The same view you did on the vent should be the same view on the, the perfusion. Okay. And it should be going for 500K on the perfusion. And after you do, it, just, you know, display the pictures. And that's it. Okay. So once you, you know you have a good uh, uh, vent, this is how you dispose it, okay? You get one of these. What I want to do is, like, have to put it here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just take it out, dump it in here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wrap them up. 
okay with the, the metal thing here sticker label it before you do everything so once you're ready you wrap it up just tap on there and throw it in here okay that's lead shielded that's lead shielded see okay I measure it really it's really bad one okay so the 25 mil is one they breathe into this thing the maximum they make can breathe in maybe two mil mm -hmm. you only get like maybe one to two percent in okay so that's why you need 25 so 200k for the vent 500,000k you know 200,000k for the vent 500,000k for the profusion right and that's it okay so you got any questions you want to ask me no it's all on video